All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go with heat number one. Up front will be Matt Grimm and Ryan Arbogast, Joey Smith, and Chris Allman have the second row. All the drivers starting to get lined up here. And the drivers are rolling. The pace truck leads them down. Hey, good evening, Mike. How's it going? But I heard there's a Longhorn Steakhouse uh, for the top three tonight. I almost said I'm going to hop in the car and just race wreck everybody just to get some Longhorn Steakhouse. <laughs> pace car is in. They fire. Green flag is in the air for heat number one. Matt Graham quickly out to the front. Arbogast in second. Chris Allman, Joey Smith in third. Joey down to the bottom trying to pick up third place here. Arbogast tonight seems to be doing a lot better than previous weeks staying right in Matt Graham's tire tracks. Matt Grimm out front, Ryan Arbogast in second, Allman in third, has pulled away just a little bit from Joey Smith. Matt Grimm has laid down the fastest lap of the night, and then Ryan Arbogast immediately did the exact, and I mean exact, same lap. My bad, Ty, my bad. Matt Grimm out front holding off Arbogast, Allman, and Joey Smith. The field in Heat 1 starting to split up just a little bit. These guys, when it comes to the feature, are going to have to figure out a way to get Matt Grimm on the restart behind him. Matt Grimm just somehow has that car planted. Every restart, he shoots off the line. White flag is in the air for Matt Grimm as Ryan Arbogast pulls back up. The down into three and four. Arbogast sends it deep down, gets the inside wall. Matt Grimm wins. Ryan Arbogast comes home second. Chris Allman is third. Joey Smith in fourth. On to heat number two. Ty Dickinson and Falcon Smith have the right row. Bryce, front row, Bryce Dickinson has the second row. Pace car is rolling. Bryce is trying to make it three wide on the pace lap. I'm not sure that that uh, not not sure that that's going to help you any there, Bryce. But go for it, buddy. <laughs> Bryce falls back in the line now. Remember, Ty is second in points, Bryce in third. They are still battling it out for the remainder of the season, and they're in a three-way tie with Josh Whiteman for second in points in the 360s. Pace truck is in. Ty fires down away. Falcon Smith up on the high side trying to get around Bryce. Bryce down to the bottom. Falcon really sends it into one and two. Drifts up a little bit. Looked like Bryce might have had a run down on the bottom. Couldn't make it stick. Now Bryce goes to the high side as they try and run tie down.
Falcon Smith, Bryce Dickinson still going at it, giving Ty Dickinson an opportunity to pull away here in heat number two. Bryce has a nose ahead. Bryce is in second at the line. Falcon fires deep into turn one. But Bryce Dickinson now up into second. Ty Dickinson still has the lead, but now Bryce Dickinson in second is slowly gaining on him. With two laps left, he's going to have to get there quickly. Ty Dickinson pulled away just a little bit. White flag in the air. One more time around, and Ty Dickinson goes for the win in heat number two. Ty Dickinson pulls off the win. Bryce Dickinson comes home second. Falcon Smith finishes third and sends Bryce into the stands. On to the warm-up. All the drivers come out and get that final bit of tuning in. Looks like Joey Smith is going to be the first one off pit road. Followed by Ryan Arbogast. Ryan keeping pace with Matt Grimm tonight. Will tonight be the night that Arbogast unseats Matt Grimm? is currently the fastest but we have seen Matt Grimm sandbag it in warm up before Joey Smith currently four. Oh, Joey gets a little problem there Chris Allman currently six Falcon and seven Chris Allman actually starting to find some speed. But right now, Ryan Arbogast has a 5 100 second lead in time over Ty Dickinson. Matt Graham a couple hundredths of a second back, and Joey Smith a couple hundredths of a second. In fact, the entire field currently within a tenth of a second of each other. This is going to be a close race from I-55. Just a few minutes left in warm-up. You got enough time to go get a drink, go get something to eat at the snack bar while you're standing in line. Please hit that like, that share. Drop a comment, let us know who you're cheering for here tonight. Ryan Arbogast still at the top of the leaderboard. So far, the points leader has four wins on the season and a 28-point lead.
Arvigas, though, as we've mentioned, has had a really rough start to this season. I'm looking to make his comeback here tonight. Just under 20 seconds left to go. Let us know who you're cheering for, who you think's going to win. Can Matt Grimm get his fifth win of the season, or is tonight the start of Arbogast's comeback? Feature event, Matt Grimm and Ty Dickinson have the front row. Ryan Arbogast, Bryce Dickinson on the second row. Chris Allman, Falcon Smith on the third row. Joey Smith rounding out the field. Drivers getting lined up on the track, getting ready to go. And it looks like Joey Smith is on pit road. Not sure what happened, but he is going to start from pit road. I guess we'll find out really quickly if that gives him any kind of advantage here. Here they go, Matt Grimm fires, green flag is in the air. Matt Grimm to the lead, but Ty Dickinson all over the back bumper, Arbogast looking low as well. Joey Smith is now out on track as Ty goes to the bottom, he's going for the lead under Matt Grimm. Ty Dickinson into the lead. Does he slide up to block the run? He does just a little bit, but keeps Matt Grimm right in his rear tire tracks. Ty Dickinson now jumps to the high side, forcing Matt Grimm to the bottom. And here comes Arbogast. Arbogast shoots high. Chris Holman right with him. And here comes Falcon Smith. And Bryce Dickinson. I'm glad, Russell. Great to see you, buddy. Ty and Matt Grimm going at it. Ty managing to hold him off for the moment. It's given Arbogast an opportunity to look up to the high side. Oh, Arbogast gets together with Grimm, gets sideways. Almond has nowhere to go. Caution. Arbogast looked like this was going to be his night of coming back. Has to check up massively. Falcon manages to avoid him, but uh, a lot of chaos. And Arbogast now back to the back of the field. Should also give Joey Smith an opportunity to come back around to the lead lap. Arbogast back on pit road. <laughs> Russell, I definitely know what you mean, bud.
Everybody stacks back up for the restart. Ty Dickinson will control it. Pace truck is in. Here they go. Ty fires their way. Matt Grimm now has to deal with Chris Allman looking to the bottom. Bryce Dickinson now down to the bottom starting to make his way forward. He's battling with Falcon Smith, Joey Smith now back on the lead lap. And Arbogast trying to fight his way back toward the front. Meanwhile, while Ullman and Grimm battle it out behind, Ty Dickinson starting to open up a little bit of a gap. Ullman gets into it. Caution is out. Ullman and Matt Grimm involved. Chris Ullman down into the turn, just sends it in deep. Slides up just a little bit, barely gets Matt Grimm, but it's enough in that particular spot to send him around. Oh, you definitely want to run tonight, Hayden. You're currently sixth in points, Hayden. You definitely want to run tonight, buddy. Pace car leading him around. Ty Dickinson will control the restart again. Pace truck is in, Ty fires, they are away, Ty gets a great jump. Matt Grimm now has to deal with Falcon Smith looking low. Matt clears and Bryce Dickinson now fighting back up on the high side. They're three wide in the back, but Bryce comes out ahead. Caution is out, wrecked behind, Bryce Dickinson involved. Oh, looks like Bryce catches the outside wall down the back straightaway and goes for a tumble. He does get the car back on all four. Meanwhile, Ty Dickinson currently leading. He's been to victory lane in several heats this season. Looking for that first feature win. Lights are out on the pace car. Ty controls the restart again. Pace truck is in. Ty fires. Green is back in the air. Matt Grimm down to the bottom getting right in Ty's tire tracks. Meanwhile, Chris Ullman and Falcon Smith battle it out behind. Oh, Falcon! Looks like Falcon and Joey get together, but they both keep going. Now Chris Allman has come back up to Matt Grimm. Chris looking to the high side, and look who's lurking back and forth. Ryan Arbogast is back up there. Ty Dickinson down, trying to hold him off on the bottom. And here comes Matt Grimm up to the high side. Ty slides up half the track trying to get some more momentum. It's a drag race down the front and that time it is Matt Grimm to the lead. Ty shoots it into the turn though. They are nose to tail 
inches apart, side by side, all the way around. Matt Grimm currently has the lead. Chris Allman now in the second. Arbogast back in the top three. Matt Grimm and Chris Allman starting to open up a small gap as Ty Dickinson fights to get back by Arbogast. Arbogast definitely has a momentum advantage up top, but Ty has something figured out down on the bottom and is carrying a lot of speed through the turn. It was not enough at the moment. Arbogast now to third. Now can Arbogast make his way back up to Matt Grimm? Chris Allman still with Matt Grimm. Can he do anything with him? Matt Grimm opening up just a little bit of a lead, not much over Allman. Arbogast currently three quarters of a second back at the halfway point. Ty Dickinson staying right with him. Joey Smith up to fifth now, but look at this, Falcon Smith, Bryce Dickinson right there with him. Track slicking off and Matt Grimm is finding more speed. Good call, Aiden. Matt Grimm out front, almost half a second lead over Allman. And he has opened up a 1.1 second lead over Arbogast now. It looked like Arbogast was going to start gaining some ground on the leader, but has been unable to. Ty now in fourth. Joey Smith up to fifth. Falcon Smith in sixth. Bryce Dickinson upside down. Caution. Bryce makes a quick toe to pit road. Tried to prevent the caution. Oh, Bryce just clips the back end into the outside wall. Tumbles down the straightaway. Definitely given an opportunity to some of these drivers out here that have just as much speed as Matt Grimm. They just need another shot at him. Falcon Smith also hitting pit road for some repairs. Falcon Smith is back out. Bryce Dickinson still on pit road. He did have to tow. It's going to take him longer to come back. Wanda Green. Matt Grimm still up in the lead. Chris Allman in second. Arbogast in third. Ty in fourth. They're barely getting stacked up in time. Matt Grimm in control. 
Oh, they delayed the green to get everybody get lined up. Bryce Dickinson is back out. Pace truck dropping in. Map fires. They are away. Armageddon up to the high side, but here comes Ty Dickinson back up into second. Oh, Ty's in the wall. He saves it. Armageddon clips him. Falcon Smith gets caught as well. Caution is out. Ty back on pit road. Let's take another look at that. We were looking at the wrong car for a moment. Ty Dickinson just comes out of the corner, gets the car straightened, just clips a little bit of the barrier, gets checked up. Armagast has nowhere to go. He gets turned, collects Falcon Smith. And the race changes yet again. The one thing that hasn't, Matt Grimm is still leading. Now it is Chris Allman in second. Joey Smith now up into third. Bryce Dickinson to fourth. Ty in fifth. Ryan Arbogast sixth. Falcon Smith in seventh. Looks like the lights are out. Matt Grimm will control the restart. This is where he has beat them all season long. Those great restarts. Can he do it again here? Green is back in the air. Matt Grimm does it again. He gets a big jump on Joey Smith into turn one. Bryce sends it in, but here comes Ty. From the back to the bottom, picking up positions. Ty Dickinson now back into the top three. Ty Dickinson down on the bottom, trying to make something happen. Joey Smith, who has been at the back of the field most of the night, now up in second place. Oh, Joey is in the wall. Caution is out and tie into second. Looks like there might have been something happened with Bryce as well. Oh, Bryce caught the wall a little bit. It slowed him down, but he managed to keep the car going. Oh, he did it twice. He went around on the front stretch. A complete 360 and gets rolling again. Green is back in the air. Matt Grimm fires, gets another great restart. Armagast shoots by on the high side, now up into second. Ty trying to hold third on the bottom, but Joey Smith up top has a great run going. Armagast, meanwhile, all over Matt Grimm's back bumper. 
Nice, still trying to make that bottom work and move up. Nice, firmly in third now as they come to get 10 to go. Matt Grimm still has the lead, but Ryan Arbogast is now looking down to the bottom. This is the Ryan Arbogast we saw last season in contention every race. While they go side by side, it's allowing Ty Dickinson to reel them in. Ryan almost gets him on that turn. Five laps to go. Can Matt Grimm hold him off five more times around? Will they give Ty enough time to catch up and can he do anything with the top two? Chris Allman now up into fourth. Falcon Smith in fifth. Bryce Dickinson in sixth. Coming down to get two to go. Ryan Arbogast still right with him. He's got two more shots at this. Is tonight the night we see Arbogast back in victory lane? White flag is in the air. Matt Grimm opens a small gap. Arbogast shoots to the bottom for everything he's got. Will it be? No, it will not be enough. Matt Grimm gets his fifth win of the season. Arbogast comes home second. Ty Dickinson comes home third. And let's see if we can get a word with our top three. Hey, Ty, it's Doug. You got me? What's up, buddy? Hey, a great race. You led quite a bit of that and thought you might have had something for him. Yeah, I needed that bottom side to stay in. Once they, those guys figured out that top side, I was screwed. Um, and when I started running the top side, I just I couldn't get it down. I didn't have the right gear to run the top side. Um, and then those last 10 laps or so, I saw Grim kind of get into the wall a few times and wanted two. And Arbogast started putting a good rod on him, so I started to back off a little bit. Because I was like, man, if they get together, I'm right here. I'm going to get with them. So I let them put on the show, and I just tried to stay stay tight and close to the podium. Got into the wall two laps ago, and Almond about ran me over. So thankfully, he got off the you know the gas. Um, otherwise, that would have been a bad deal. So respect to Almond at that finish. Well, man, it was a great run. We were cheering you on. A great finish tonight as well. And you continue to be second in points. Yeah, that's all I care about. I'm not going to catch Grim, but as long as I can hold down the top three, get some of my dad's money that he put up. That's all that matters. <laughs> you heard that, Mike. He's just in it for your money, bud. Congratulations, Ty. Yeah, uh, thanks, but I just want to give a shout-out, obviously, to my sponsors, Pop and Mike Promotions, um, Apex Designs. They killed my new wraps that I have been, you know, debuting. Um, Elite Performance Industries with the new setups. Um, Bryce and Bear for always the pep talks and the shit talks. Uh, and also, like always, hashtag DFA. <laughs> Great job, buddy. All right, thanks. All right, Ryan Arbogast comes home second tonight. Ryan, is this the Ryan of old returning? Uh, I, I hope so. We ran second with the Pro Late Models on Monday in Zach's League also. Should have won that one, but made a mistake. Got past five laps to go. and uh, Probably ha could have got around Matt if I had a few more laps. I uh, 
I uh, screwed up and let him get too far away. I was going to dive low and turn four and then see if I could beam to the line since I was getting better runs than he was out four on the low side than he was on the high side, but just lost a little bit too much ground. And it was a fun race with Matt. So um, hopefully we'll see what we can do in the sprint cars. I usually find a way to wreck myself or something. So. Well, it definitely looked like what we saw out of you last season. It looks like you're back in uh, form here tonight, so hopefully that continues, buddy. Uh, yeah, um, kind of swapped some sponsors around and um, nothing against Premier or anything, but uh, a good buddy of mine got over with the Speed Ranch team and brought me on over, and um, so far, I think it's going to work out good, so I got to give a shout out to them, and obviously Apex Designs for the wraps on my cars. Um, thank, thanks to you, as always, for doing the stream. My pleasure, buddy. Congratulations. Thank you. We'll see what we can do at Eldora now with the 360. Good luck, man. Thank you. And Matt Grimm comes home with win number five and extends his points lead. Uh, how many more races before we just call this one, Matt? Well, I, I don't know, but anything can happen. I think I started blinking out there. I was getting worried. I don't know what was going on. Actually, I did not see you blinking. The only driver I saw blinking in the race was Chris Allman, and that was pretty brief. Yeah, under that last caution, like all the all the other guys disappeared, and I started to go into panic mode. Well, it seemed to work out. It looked like Arbogast was going to give you a heck of a run there at the end, but uh, just never uh, materialized, and you were able to pull away at the end. Yeah, the top kind of went away for me, and I had gotten such big leads, that, but they kept disappearing with all the cautions. And then, I don't know what Chris was doing there, but... When he took me out, it gave me damage, but high racing was going to give me my spot back, so I wasn't going to give that up. So I don't really know what all was wrong with the car, but definitely wasn't right after that. Well, it didn't seem to matter. You drove a broke car to victory lane, man. Congratulations, man. Thanks, Doug. Thanks, uh, Zach, for putting this on, Long and Sons Farms, and everyone else that helps out along the way. All right, buddy. Good luck in the 360s. Well, thanks, bud. I hope I can uh, get some Texas Roadhouse out of that. <laughs> it sounds like you are, man. We're going to give it a shot. All right, Matt Grimm, his fifth win of the season in the big blocks. And now it's on to 360s at Eldora. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in just a few moments with the 360s at Eldora. You're not going to want to miss this.